Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with the first Pixel Experience Plus uh, custom ROM video for our Redmi Note 10 Pro. As you can see here, this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro and this is the Pixel Experience Plus edition of 2023 update and it is based on Android 13 and its security patch is also on the way latest 5 January 2023 and this ROM is the one of the most smoothest and stablest custom ROMs for our Redmi Note 10 Pro so this is one of my favorite ROMs so in this video I will be showing you its uh, full review is it stable is it smoother for your Redmi Note 10 Pro and I will also show you its full review so without any further ado let's get started so this is the Pixel Plus uh, edition for our Redmi Note 10 Pro it is pretty much smoother smoother than uh, my expectations as you can see here it is just opening everything pretty much quickly it is pretty much quick with this 120Hz refresh rate and uh, we will start from the camera and in this room here we have uh, this simple camera pre-installed maybe it is a little bit weird because it doesn't have a lot of uh, features like portrait mode and night mode and uh, all other video modes uh, but still it can be used to take photos record basic videos and you can also scan the documents as well so if you want more features like portrait mode and uh, night mode and slow motion in video modes then you can go for a google camera mode from google.com and uh, other than that there is no any single bug or issue in this room everything is just working fine wi-fi volte Wu wi-fi every single thing is just working fine in this room and maybe this is the one of the most stablest and smoothest custom room out there for our redmi note 10 pro and uh, here i have tested it on geekbench and here's the score it just scored 558 uh, on single core and it just scored 1562 on multi cores i don't know if these scores are pretty much impressive or not but it is what it is other than that let's go to the uh, settings and uh, other than in the application we don't have any junky application pre-installed here we have only few needed and a uh, few applications pre-installed right here so now let's go to the settings and have a look on the what customizations and options do we have and here we have this uh, quick sighting panel which is uh, typical android 13 and android 12 quick settings then we have quick uh, and in the settings here we have connectivity options apps notifications then we have battery the battery backup of this rom is pretty much impressive here we have battery optimization profiles battery usage battery saver adaptive preferences and uh, after it here we have storage options then we have sound and vibrations and here we have smart pause options haptics and vibrations here we have uh, vibration options right here and here we also have the Mi sound enhancer which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality but we don't have the Dolby Atmos in here but still we get the Mi sound enhancer which is a pretty much good feature so after it here we have display in the display here we have brightness level night uh, dark theme which can be used as well then we have screen saver you can also change the uh, display size and text size you can also make the text bold and high contrast after it here we have screen saver night light which is working fine live display you can also collaborate the colors of display and you can also do the picture adjustments then we have uh, color profiles then we have auto rotation and you can also set up a man, uh, minimum and maximum refresh rate uh, to, uh, to 60 hertz or 120 hertz i am using uh, 120 hertz refresh rate that's why it feels pretty much smoother then we have tap to wake tap to sleep and we also have the anti flicker mode then we have wallpaper and style and here we have the wallpapers and we have a lot of wallpapers pre-installed because this is the google wallpaper application you can change any wallpaper from this list and here we also have the live wallpapers right here a lot of categories are available then you can change the wallpaper color you can also enable the dark theme you can enable themed icons and you can change the app grid right from here so as you can see here themed icons looks like this and uh, you can also add widgets to your home screen to make it looks beautiful as you can see here a lot of widgets are available to be used as you can see here i am using it as well 
so after it here we have accessibility security in the security we have all security options like screen locks are working pretty much fine facial lock and fingerprint is also available to be used as you can see here so no need to be worried about the security then we have privacy location safety emergency passwords and accounts digital well-being google then we have system and system and in the system we have languages and input gestures in the gesture we have a quick tap to start action just double tap on the back and it will do the action whatever you want to do let's set up it on the take screenshot double press double tap on the back and it is taking the screenshot as well so it's a very useful option then we have quick op quickly open camera system navigation bar one handed mode which is working fine you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand then we have press and hold power button you can also enable the advanced restart options then we have quick torch premium ringing swipe three finger for screenshot then we have buttons options right here from here you can manage this system navigation bar edge long press power button and volume button settings are also available right here then we have date and time backup system updates rules multiple users and reset options and at the end here we have about phone section from here you can check your android version which is 13 and the security patch is also all the way latest 5 january 2023 so the rom is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this rom yes you can use it as your daily driver if you want to install this rom on your redmi note 10 pro then you can download the rom from the link in the description and you can also follow the installation instructions from the same link and uh, so this was the video for today hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button and i also have a second channel where i used to post custom rom and routing videos you can also subscribe to that channel as well the link of that channel is also available in the description box keep supporting thanks for watching peace